Hey people, this is Glenn from Brand Sugar here. This is just a quick tutorial to show you how to update text, change the font, change the color, play with letter spacing, and uh, we're also going to show you a different way to look at the document just in case you have a large multi page document. So nice, easy, interesting stuff. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is click on the text that you want to change. So if I wanted to change this text block just here, Labella, to something else, I would double click on it. Considering we're just doing a test tutorial today, let's just type in the test, like so. So all you do is type in with your keyboard uh, the words you're wanting, nice and simple. From here, you can change the color. So if I want to change the color of the test, there is the option in the top bar just here. So it's a large A with a rainbow under it or it might be a large A with a color under it, the icon does change. From here, we're gonna click on this and the icon has brought us to our color tab. So this area has three categories, new color, document colors, and default colors. Now the default colors uh, just give us a, just a quick purple or a blue, just a few colors for us to choose from, nice and easy. The document colors, they show us the colors that are being used in the document currently. And then the first option is new color from here. It's similar to the third option, which is default colors, but it does give you a much more diverse color range. So you can choose a color you're wanting. If you've got a color code, you can put that here as well. It's to the bottom area and insert your own color code. And the color is done. So the next step would be, I guess, to change the font. If I was to click on this area again, next to the color icon, just over to the left, we have a area that allows us to change the font. Now there's lots of fonts to choose from. You'll notice some of the fonts have a gold crown next to them. What this means is you'll need to upgrade your account to Canva Pro, but for now, we're just gonna focus on the free fonts because there's so many of them, so we don't need the other fonts. Let's just change the text to uh, League Spartan, for example, La Test. Done. The next step is to change the color spacing. So we can change the space between the letters. So to change the color spacing, the color spacing, the font spacing, sorry, all we do is click on the text box that we want to change. And at the very top of the screen, in this bar again, over here, we've got an arrow, which is pointing up and down uh, with three lines next to it. We'll click on this and it gives us the letter spacing just here. So we just use this little scroll bar here to adjust it to and fro like so. You get it where you want and all you do is you click off it. You'll notice there is also a line height of spacing option that we can use. There, this isn't going to work with this example because this text block only has one um, lot of text in it. There's only one line. The photography text is in a different box. So if I wanted to use the line height, I would need to first create a second line. So let's just say let test, test. So if I was to click on this text box, now this line height area is going to work. We can adjust the ups and the downs of the text, like so. Fantastic. This document currently has six pages. So we can scroll to the pages that we want. We can scroll right to the very bottom, this is page six. Now, if your document um, has more pages than this, you might find that scrolling does take time and you'll need a different method of navigating the document. What is good about Canva is if you look in the bottom right hand corner, there is a little icon that has two pages on it and a number. So the number on our icon is six because this document has six pages. Click on this document or this um, icon and it will change the screen to what we see here. So we can see our entire document, one, two, three, four, five, six. And from here, we can click on the page that we want to go to. So let's go to page six, double click, and there we are. There is just an easier way to do it. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Thank you so much.